I've entitled this uh, uh, A Little Offering to Muse. That's a song that you can either sing it or act it or tell it as a story. It's loosely based on a couple of Jesus parables. I wrote this back July 2017. Uh, you'll have to use your imagination on this one, though. The skits will sort of give you an idea what's going on, and well, the narrator will give you what's supposed to be going on, and you have to use your imagination to get the action of what's going on. A little offering to Muse, the prologue. Here's a little offering for your heart to Muse, based on gospel stories, Jesus often use. I could tell it like a story or a song this would be fit. If I could get some thespians, this would be a skit. Okay, scene one. A rich man walking down the street, his pockets full of cash. His mind is in a torment. Where do I invest my stash? When a homeless beggar smiles at him and raises an empty cup. Well, he says, God bless my good deeds done. And went his merry way. A little bit of music in the background. Da ba 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 da de dum de dum boom 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 boom. Scene three. And further down the road he goes, and guess what happens next? He sees a naked man beat up and left in a ditch for dead. He passes by the other side, ignoring Mercy's plea. But a foreign stranger picks him up and takes care of all his needs. Dum 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 well, he and a brother have an ongoing dispute. His brother wants to make amends, but he'd rather rebuke. To his anger, adds more fuel. That lazy dog should get a job and pay the debts he owed. Well, all dressed up in his Sunday best, and off to church he goes. He always gives his 10%, sometimes more for show. Oh, he's not like those sinners who in the back pews dwell. Why, the very best seat at a holy feast is reserved for him as well. Now, this is just a comment or an observation I do share. Well, he bear to start living a new life unto the Lord. For the prayer of a selfish, boastful man, don't get hurt. If a heart is full of arrogance, there is no room for love. So you better start to live a new life unto the Lord. Now the next scene. Hey, you've received an invite. A message has been sent to appear before the Lord God, your reward to be present. Your deeds towards your fellow men, God's seen all along. Rise up and get you ready to appear before the throne. Kneel, knave before me. Bow down before my throne. Hang your head in sorrow, you evil, wicked soul. For you gave no love or pity, or forgave you what was old. As you have shown to others, so to you it shall be shown. Well, he cried out loud, confessed the sins, till all of him was spent. Jesus, forgive me, for I truly do repent. And by your grace and mercy, a new life I shall live. Well, what do you think? 
Should this person be punished or do we all forgive? Well, let's see what happens in the last scene. Well, he felt himself a falling and thud he hit the ground. It wasn't hot enough for hell. Opened his eyes to look around. But out of bed he'd fallen, for this was but a dream. But he took to heart the message. Now Jesus is his king. An epilogue. Now the life he lived is but a song we sing unto the Lord. Everything we say and do adds a verse or chord. A smile can be a melody, a tender word, a song. A healing touch in Jesus' name is God's conductor's wand. The 